Okay, I've got a short clip here with um, soundtrack to three different clips and then below that some music. I'll just play it back and you can see that um, there's an issue with the relative sound levels. Welcome to the ending of the dirty protest and express the hope that other forms of protest in the prison might also soon be ended. Okay, so um, we'll assume that audio one here has the sound of uh, dialogue or is the, the primary sound. Um, yeah, I should have put some dialogue there, but it's it's music. But that is what we want in the foreground. So the, the overall level of that should be greater than that for the um, underlying music here. But the problem with these three clips, and you can see by the waveform, is that there are different levels between them. So what we can do uh, is a process called normalizing the audio levels. And typically you would set the, the kind of primary, uh, usually, most usually the dialogue, at something like minus three dB. So um, if you recall when you play back something, you get these meters going up here. So what we want to do is set it so that it peaks, all of them peak um, at around about this point here. So there's no danger of them, if you like, bursting that and going into the red and distorting. And what we'll also want to do is to have a lower peak for the music. We can experiment and go back and forth and, and see what we're happy with. Um, but for argument's sake, I'm going to put it maybe about 8 or 9 dB. So the way I do that is uh, get my arrow here. And what I'm going to do is select these three clips here with their audio like that. And then um, I right click, choose audio gain. And what I want to do is normalize all peaks in these selected clips here to a certain value. It's analyzed it and it's already um, the highest value we reach in any of these is minus three. Uh, so what we want to do is make sure that that applies to all three of the tracks. So let's just type in minus three, click OK. It's going to work it out. Now you see some of those have raised up and some of them uh, have declined. It doesn't affect the relative value, so the thing will still get louder and softer, but it will, at its highest point, reach minus three. So uh, that's affected that. So let's try playing that back now. Welcome to the ending of the dirty protest and express the hope that other forms of protest in the prison might also soon be ended. Now that we're friends, I can show this to all your other friends, all your real friends in your proper life, like your friends from work and, and, and your potential girlfriends. Okay, uh, so now this background music uh, is maybe a bit too much. And so what we're going to do is just lasso this, not the other sections, and do the same thing, but set a lower level. So here, audio gain, and let's set this to I don't know, minus nine, maybe too much. At the moment, you see it's, it, it reaches to minus uh, 2.4, minus nine, should take it right down. Now, play this back. Welcome to the ending of the dirty protest, and express the hope that other forms of protest in the prison might also soon be ended. Now that we're friends, I can show this to all your other friends, all your real friends in your proper life, like your friends from work and, and, and your potential girlfriends. Okay, so now we've got a much more satisfying balance between, um, if you like, the, the main audio and that which uh, sits underneath it. Obviously you can then, if you want to tweak it, so there's moments where you want the music to swell, you can go in and then rubber band that to bring it up, uh, or use the audio mixer. But just in terms of getting relative weights or kind of strengths between the audio tracks, uh, if you put the, the kind of dialogue or the central audio on one channel and then the other audios on another, you can obviously um, select them across tracks, but the, the easiest way to do it is to separate them out in this manner. Um, then that gives you the basis for ensuring that the audio that you want uh, to be heard is actually clear.